This is why you should never carve your initials into ancient ruins. While visiting the ancient city, a British man carved his family's initials onto one of the historic site's walls. The man had etched the letters onto the House of the Vestals, a lavish structure located in Pompeii's northwest corner, near the Herculaneum Gate. Like the rest of the ancient city, the residence was preserved in ash after Mount Vesuvius's eruption in 79 CE. Last month staffers caught the 37-year-old tourist and reported him to the public prosecutor's office. Under a new Italian law, visitors who deface monuments can face steep penalties of up to 40,000 euros, and up to 60,000 euros for more serious acts of destruction. The government can use the proceeds from these fines to repair the damage. According to the Italian newspaper, the man apologized to authorities, explaining that he had wanted to leave behind a record of his family's trip to the ancient city. He had carved three sets of initials, his own and his two daughters, onto the wall. He had also written out the date, August 7, 2024. The British man is certainly not the first tourist to cause such a stir. In recent years, several travelers have etched messages into some of Italy's most treasured historic sites. Earlier this summer, a man from Kazakhstan carved his initials onto Pompeii's House of Tsei, an ancient structure known for its vibrant and colorful frescoes. Around the same time, a Dutch tourist used a permanent marker to draw graffiti on a wall in the city of Herculaneum which was also destroyed by the 79 CE eruption. Some perpetrators have claimed ignorance about the weight of their actions. Last year, another British tourist carved his name beside his girlfriend's name on the Colosseum. After getting caught, the man wrote a letter of apology to Rome's mayor. He claimed that he didn't realize the seriousness of the deed committed and didn't learn of the antiquity of the monument until late. Weeks later, a 17-year-old Swiss tourist carved her initials into the ancient amphitheater. A tour guide filmed the incident and confronted the girl's parents. That act carries a fine of up to 15,000 euros and up to five years imprisonment. When he saw a member of security, he quickly approached him, showed him the video and pointed out the family. In recent years, Italy has struggled with over-tourism, particularly at some of its most popular historic sites. Officials have been experimenting with new ways to control the crowds. A few months ago, for instance, Venice instituted a controversial day-tripper fee. Meanwhile, new train routes will help move tourists between some of Italy's most popular destinations more sustainably. So remember, when you visit, take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints.